It's spicy. I am getting today's tacos from Takeria Honorio, which is a low key, hole in the wall, local spot in Tulum, Mexico. And as you can see here, it's no frills at all. So you take what you get. Um, I'll have two of these tacos, cochinita pibil, um, two lejon, mission for the tacos. Uh Hello, gorgeous people. Shooting live from Mexico, Tulum, Mexico to be exact. Look how the weather is just changing. One minute it's dark, next minute it's sun. Wish me luck. Hopefully it doesn't start pouring rain as I shoot this. Okay. We are ready for our authentic Mexican tacos mukbang. And today, because what's the point of having Mexican if you're not gonna have guacamole? Mm. Some chips. Let's see what's here. Ooh, yeah. This is, I believe, this is pulled pork sandwich. I know I got uh, three different tacos. There is the cochinita, cochinita. I don't remember, sorry. <laughs> it's pork. And then there is the lechon. I'm not really good at this. But anyway, it's the pulled, the pulled pork, so baby pork. Here, look at this, look at this color. Gorgeous. Woo! It's windy. We have tacos, chips and guac lots of sauces because you know how many sauces does one person need right oh yeah i got quesadilla as well i believe this is the pulled pork quesadilla and this is all from Takeria. man i need to learn my names it's very bright here these are all from Takeria honorio in tulum so if you ever find yourself here, this is the place I highly recommend if you want authentic Mexican tacos. What? Okay, let's just get started. Let's see, what sauces do I need? I think these are the same. African style. You have to taste it first. Because what if it's too spicy? I don't taste anything. Uh, what about this one? Ah! <laughs> it's spicy. And um, I got a burst in my mouth. So well, that's great. Good job, Keppel. After that pepper burst, I need to... We're gonna start with the guac. Mm. Okay. Well, it's good. It's a little too salty for my taste, but too salty. Let's try with this one. I'm gonna put the really spicy sauce. See how that goes. Pray for me. Mm. Mm. 
This is the most spice. I'm having a moment. This is so good. Oh my gosh. Like, okay, let me just be honest with you. I don't know which one is which. <laughs> I think this is the pulled pork. The roasted pulled, the roasted suckling pig. Sorry, roasted suckling pig. Um, and um, I don't have napkins. Great. Either way, it's so delicious. Wow. And I need napkins. What was I thinking? Mm. So. Okay. Ah! Next one. What's this one? You know something? You're probably wondering, haha, <laughs> skinny gelato is eating all this. Oh, yes. Because what's the point of busting your butt in the gym and um, eating clean for, for the most part <laughs> if you can't enjoy yourself on vacation? Keep in mind though, when I do go on vacations, I don't just completely let myself go. I don't know what this is. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna set this one aside because I think it's some deep fried thing. That That's a pro tip for you. When you're on vacation, eat, enjoy yourself, but um, try as much as possible to eat real food because for example i don't know what this is do you know what it is i don't it tastes like fried tripe <laughs> mm, i think it's pig skin but why when there's real food here so this must be the cochinita de pebel let me try let me shut okay this construction noise is too much, but anyways, try to focus. Guys, I think this is it. And because mm, it's so good the flavor is not too it's not too sharp taste i don't know how else to explain it but oh mm. So good. You know what though? I feel like something is missing for me. And it's some kind of salsa, some kind of red sauce, you know? Anyway, we don't want pig skin. So yeah, back to what I was saying. And I'm trying to decide which ones to try next. You know, I really apologize for the construction noise. I mean, it's not my fault. <laughs> I'm not the one who is paying them to construct. I'm just here as a guest. In Tulum, Mexico. Mexico. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to try the quesadilla, which to me is a taco, but just bigger. I don't know. I mean, Mexican food experts, please tell me what's different. 
What's the difference in a taco and a quesadilla? Except for the cheese. I mean, let's see here. All right, enough anatomy. Let's bite. hot second okay mm -hmm. okay listen it's still about 10 a.m. here so we're not pairing this with any spicy margarita or tequila or Mezcal. This is purely H2O, so. Cheers. Oh, salut, salut. I think that's how the toast in Mexico, I don't know. Sounds about right. <clears throat> uh, here's another pro tip for you. So, as you know, things like bread, rice, all your starchy carbs, um, when you eat them, especially if you're eating them with foods that are high in salt, you're going to be holding a lot of water. And you are on vacation, people. We don't want all that bloat, do we? So what we do is um, seven days to your vacation, start taking dandelion root um, capsules. It's a natural diuretic. So it helps to suck out all the excess water and it also helps with digestion. So there you go. Cause um, <laughs> rest assured, I mean, if the weather cooperates, I'm definitely going to the beach today and we don't want them to be seen bread belly. So let's see how this one goes. Well, let's see what's inside first. I do love the bread though. It's nice and soft. Big skin. I'll pass. I'll pass again. So without the pig skin, it's pretty much the same thing in a taco. Another pro tip. I don't think I need this extra piece. I think maybe I can do with just this one. So let's see. Mmm. I don't know. I'm not sure about this one. I think out of everything, honestly, my favorite is this one. It's the roasted suckling pig taco. This is the winner. Has to be. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. There's someone looking at me from inside. Because they're jealous of all my food. And I'm not sharing. Mm. I don't know why they're laughing. Though. When I ordered this, I thought I ordered the entire menu. But clearly I didn't. Another thing on holidays, when you're on vacation, just know that it's not gonna be like when you're at home, right? You're on vacation, you've vacated. But you can still stay fit. You just need to be strategic about it. This Airbnb, I made sure that, well, when I was picking my Airbnb, I filtered with the feature gym. It had to have a gym. Um, and thankfully they're open, even with, you know, coronavirus stuff, so. I don't know which one I want. Oh yes, you know, I didn't really deal with this quesadilla and I liked it, so I'm just gonna deal with it. If you don't have access to a gym, that's fine. There are things that you can do. I saw a guy walking around the complex. He must have done this, I don't know how many times, but for 30 minutes straight, he was just walking. 
So, keep it simple. You can even go up and down the stairs. So, number one, eat real food. Number two, use a natural diuretic to help you get rid of excess water that you may be holding. Number three, don't be too ambitious with your workout, but don't let it go completely either. Number four, keep it simple. You can walk around, walk up and down the stairs, carry your luggage up and down the stairs if you like, 10 times. That's a workout right there. And of course, how can I forget? Stay hydrated. I'll keep you posted, I don't know. When I get in my bikini today, it might have to be cover up all day. <laughs> okay, maybe not. That's not the plan. If you enjoyed this, let me know in the comments below. How do I say it in the Spanish game? Hasta pronto. Hasta luego. Gracias for watching. I'll see you in the siguiente video. <laughs> Adios.